Good day researchers! Welcome back to our channel and today's lesson is all about how to make a research introduction. Before we will start our lesson today, let me remind you that different schools do have different patterns on how they will make their research, how they will write their research. Now, what we have here is that I am giving you patterns on how you can write your, your research. I will be giving you three styles on how to write your research in introduction. So let's start with the first style. On style number one, the first paragraph is about the problem situation of the dependent variable. Second paragraph will be the importance of your dependent variable. Third paragraph will be the link between your independent variable and the dependent variable. Since this is a descriptive correlation, um, correlational approach there might be an author or somebody who studied first about the your independent variable and the dependent variable your fourth paragraph will be research gap and urgency of the study and that's it that's style number one first Recap is about the problem situation of the dependent variable. Second paragraph will be um, the importance of your dependent variable. Third is the link of your IV, independent variable, and your dependent variable. And fourth paragraph will be um, research gap and urgency of the study. How about style number two? On style number two, the first paragraph will be the problem situation of the dependent variable on a global setting. How about second paragraph? On the second paragraph, you will write problem situation on the dependent variable on the national setting. How about paragraph number three? On paragraph number three, you will talk about the um, situation, the problem situation of the dependent variable of your local setting. How about fourth paragraph? In the fourth paragraph, you will talk about research gap and urgency of the study. So again, as a recap, on the first paragraph, you will write the problem situation of the dependent variable on the global setting. Second, you will write um, problem situation of the dependent variable in the national setting. Third is a research local. You will talk about the problem situation of your dependent variable on the on your research local. And the fourth one and the fourth paragraph will be um, research gap and urgency of the study. How about style number three? On style number three, this is somewhat a mix of the style number one and style number two. So on style, on style number three, the first paragraph is the problem situation of the dependent variable in general. Now the second paragraph will be the problem situation of the dependent variable in the global setting. The third paragraph will be the problem situation of the dependent variable in the national setting. The fourth paragraph will be um, the problem situation of the dependent variable in the local setting. The fourth and uh, the fifth paragraph will be the link between the independent variable and the dependent variable. And the sixth, the last paragraph will be research gap and urgency of the study. 
So that's it. That's the three styles on how to write your research in introduction. This is just a reminder to you. If you are writing your introduction, it is important to convince the reader that your dependent variable is a problem, not only in your research local, but also in the global and the national setting. How we will do that? If you are writing global, national, and local setting, you have to include um, statistics on statistics about the problem on your dependent variable. It is more convincing to say to, to say that there are 75% of the students who are uh, slow in their scientific thinking skills compared that you will say that students are low in in scientific in their scientific thinking skills. So it is important to include a data, numerical data on your introduction so that it will be more convincing for the reader that your dependent variable is a problem. So that's the th three styles on how to write your research in introduction. I hope that you can write now your research introduction and if you find this a video is helpful to you as a researcher, please like, subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, and comment. So that's all for today and goodbye for now.